Hello, hello. Welcome to the Dreamers Experience Conquer the Chaos. My name is Sean Laurie, and as a father and foreign entrepreneur, I want to give you guys different insights or tools each week from either myself, my wife, or others that will not only help you as a parent, but also as an individual conquer the chaos. And hey guys, my name is Tiffany Lowry and I co-host alongside my husband. I do wear many hats and the two that I'm the most proud of is being a mother and a wife. Um, we have had many chaotic moments as a family, but have somehow always managed to conquer the chaos. And that's why I'm excited to be here with you guys to share part of our journey. Yes, yes. Um, welcome, guys. Like always, make sure you subscribe, like. Um, appreciate you guys, you know, tuning in, of course. Um, if you're not part of the No Perfect Parent community already on Facebook, I definitely encourage you to check that out. If you, um, for the fathers out there, um, I also have the No uh, Perfect Father, um, and I'm doing some things as well um, with the fathers. And then also, um, you know, if you just need help with, with any type of, um, um, honestly, just under uh, undercovering some of the things that we deal with as parents, with our families, just go to conquerthechaos.net. Um, and yeah, pretty much it, it, it should be self-explanatory, um, on the things you need and things like that. But, um, yeah, so as we got that out the way, um, icebreaker, um, our kids just got back to school finally. So I guess for you, what has been either the biggest adjustment or maybe even just something you're excited about with the kids coming back? Um, biggest adjustment waking up an hour earlier oh yeah i was waking up like 30 minutes before work because i work from home and that was nice but now i gotta wake up an hour and a half earlier so yeah 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 I sleep i think the biggest adjustment now is that now at least for me i have a little bit more time um to do certain things now where at first um having four kids all at the house at the same time was hectic. Um, yeah. So um, I think for that, and then not for me, I'm excited just to see our youngest daughters in kindergarten now. Um, and then our son's in second grade. And then we have a senior. <sighs> so we have a senior now. So um, I think that's like exciting to see um, how that whole year or this whole year, I should say, is going to, you know, play out for all of them. Yeah, it's bittersweet. Yeah. About yeah. to have a whole adult. I know. It's crazy. Um, so I want to actually just have a, a conversation about basically, you know, it, it dawned on us where um as kids, I'm sure many of you guys remember growing up, you know, we wake up, we'd be excited, you know, to watch cartoons or whatever the case is, right? So I want to ask you, I guess, or well, at least for me, maybe that wasn't anyone's experience, but at least for you, like what was on a s typical Saturday morning? Like, what was that for you as a kid? Um, yeah, getting up, watching Saturday morning cartoons, um, eating breakfast. We didn't have cable. So, um, you know, whatever came on, I think it was ABC. They would have like Pepper Ann, Recess. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what other ones, but yeah, watching those cartoons in the morning. Recess was was my one of my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, she have our kids watching it now, but um, yeah, same thing. Like I remember waking up early in the morning, like getting a bowl of cereal, super excited watching Power Rangers. Oh yeah, um, that, that was that was one of my shows too. I think Power Rangers. Dang, I feel old now, but I think Barry's came out when I was like six or seven. Um, but yeah, I just remember being excited about that. And like now in today's generation, like it's not like that. Um, I guess not only with, with our kids, but just kids in general. What do you think like their Saturdays probably even look like now? Um, well, no, I mean, for our kids, they get up and they watch cartoons, have breakfast. Um, I think it really just depends. Now, I think our kids would be more, I think, uh, excited to play on their tablets, though, yeah, than to watch TV. You know, that's just the generation that you know that they're in, yeah, that's true. Because if it was up to them, they would go straight onto the tablet, 
Mm-hmm. Um, and even like our kids, I'm sure many of your guys' kids as well too, is different now where um, now you can stream, right? Like you don't even necessarily need cable anymore. Yeah. So stream certain channels and things like that. Um, and, you know, your kids can watch those things or on YouTube. But it's like it's different now because you have to be conscious of what your kids are watching on cartoons and, and YouTube right and everything else where yeah. before um at least it felt like you know growing up um my mom didn't really have to worry about me she just okay you have your bowl of cereal i know what you're watching like like you said abc was it? i think it was a uh, channel five channel five eleven and seven i think was the yeah the channels that... seven is seven is the only one i think i really watched oh, okay oh no, no no actually i take that back because on uh the weekends they had um it wasn't cartoons but it was like city guys hanging with mr cooper yeah i, I actually a... just thought about that so yeah that's dang i guess feel... i know but um i think we just exposed our age yeah, that's... <laughs> what can you do but um but yeah that's that's true i think that's what now do you feel like that's a good thing or a bad thing now that you know uh, our kids and even us right we're addicted to our phones and stuff but just like that, that were back in the day, right? Saturday mornings would look like as far as, okay, hey, you get up, you eat your breakfast, you watch your cartoons, and then you go outside and play. Mm-hmm. Where now it's you eat breakfast, you maybe might watch cartoons, but you're going to hop on your tablet or your video game. And that's pretty much, that's, that's pretty much it for the whole day. Mm-hmm. Um. I think it kind of just depends because, right, like, um, I know, like, our younger ones, like, they they have a good habit. Like, if we don't have them go on their tablets, you know, they'll be watching TV, but then they'll get distracted playing with each other, right? Like, I don't know. I don't even know what they were playing when I left this morning. Just making up games. Yeah. But, um yeah, so I think it really just depends on the household because even Junior, right? Like you yeah. take him some Saturday mornings to go play basketball. Yeah. So it just depends on the household, the schedule and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, true. Um, now with the cart, like, because you hear it all the time as far as, okay, um, cartoons now are worse than the cartoons we watched growing up. Mm-hmm. And I somewhat agree, but also disagree mm-hmm. um, because we had shows like Ren and Stimpy, you know, I don't know if you ever watched that one, but yeah, that one was pretty wild. Yeah. What? Ren and Stimpy. Um, even uh, I know this was a, a popular one on Nickelodeon, one of your favorites, but Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, yeah. That, that was one good. was. It, it's funny you say that, though, because now that I look back at it, I'm like. Dang, I shouldn't have probably have been watching that. Because right? <laughs> at the time, yeah. I'm like, no, like it was funny and weird. Yeah, I was like, it's funny, it's weird. But now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, I probably want to have my kids probably watch. Like, I forgot the superhero dude. I don't know if you remember him, the buff guy on Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, and not Captain. No, not Captain. No, Captain he's just shoot out his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> he's just shoot out his nipples, and it would like suck into your eyes or something. And he could see what's going. Some weird like that. I can't remember, but I'm thinking about, I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't want, like, my, because then they would be asking me, so, Dad, why is his nipple shooting out in, yeah. his, in the guy's face? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about that one, though. Yeah, that one. And then I know um, even now, one of the popular cartoons, um, SpongeBob. Like, we yeah. don't. We don't let, I mean, the kids don't really watch it. Camille watched it like a few times when she was younger, but it never really stuck. But even SpongeBob, like now, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's one of those. Well, cartoons. even even back then, like it would be weird to me because I remember watching when I was younger and I was like, okay, was I think it was one episode where I don't know, they the like SpongeBob and Patrick switch underwear and. <laughs> It was something weird like that, and I was like, all right, this is kind of weird, you know. Yeah. Um, but again, to each his own, that's just more so us. We're very conscious of what our kids are, are watching in all phases. Like, um, that's just something we definitely are conscious mm-hmm. about. But just growing up, we had some, too, that weren't probably the best things to watch. Beavis and Butthead, 
right? Oh, yeah. Things like that. Like, but we didn't really think much of it. Um, also, though, like we didn't have as much of those those cartoons as there is today, mm-hmm. right? Where a lot of those cartoons now, you know, I'll be watching. I'm like, what the heck? Like, it's just be saying different things or doing different things, and then my kids will ask me. I'm like, oh, shoot, like uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know. So it's, it's something. You have to definitely pay attention to movies as well. Yeah. Obviously. Um, you know, I, like I said, just for us, that's something we're we're very conscious of because at the end of the day, we want our kids to be able to just be kids. Yeah. Right. Um, we don't want them to if if they don't need to know certain things right now. That's not something they need to worry about. Yeah. They should be knowing about, you know, sex, <laughs> should be knowing about drugs like that. They shouldn't be knowing about um any of those things like mm-hmm. i'm very conscious of it um and so i try to you know have it where hey you guys watch things that's gonna let you still be a kid you know what i mean and i get it like those cartoons there's pretty much i remember growing up seeing those cartoons as, as well but a lot of cartoons for for a humor they're always like showing their butt or something right mm-hmm. i get that okay whatever like just don't do that you know not to moon anybody or something yeah. like that right but it's more difficult when I don't know they're they're grabbing someone's butt or something like that. You know what I mean? Just different things like that. Yeah, harder to explain. Yeah, you trying to explain? It it. Yeah, because they're like, oh no, that's why. I, I, maybe I should do that, right? Um, I remember Jurassic was it Jurassic? Uh, someone in in it was a, one in Netflix. Um, I can't remember the name. But it's like a cartoon or whatever. Oh, Jurassic Quest or something, something like that. that. And my my son like really liked the show, and then I watched it with him, and it's like, okay, cool. It's just these kids, you know, looking for dinosaurs and things like that. I think you know one of them might like each other, but they're not really even focused on that. It's literally just hey, trying to survive in this dinosaur world or whatever the case is. So I'm like, okay, cool. But then they start trying to do too much on both sides, like the 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 dude and the chick were like really just, I don't know, kissing, doing all this extra stuff. And then they had it where the two girls, I guess, end up being together or something mm-hmm. like that. And so I was like, okay, yeah, this isn't necessarily the show for me and my family right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Um, again, my, my kids, cause I, we try to explain certain things to them, but at the same time to whatever it is where we are very conscious of, okay, we want to be able to dictate the narrative, right? We want our kids to know, okay, this is what it is. Um, that's just how we do things. Like, even for me, I'll be honest, when I see couples that are, like, overly affectionate, hmm. like, for me, it, like, it weirds me out. I'm just being honest. Like, I know it's, like, weird. Um, but, yeah, I just can't see people, like, tonguing each other down. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of odd to me. And oh, but again, and I want yeah, and I wouldn't want my kids to necessarily be around that either, mm. you know. So I don't know what you, I guess, what you think on, yeah, on all of that. Um, of course, like I definitely support you know, live your life however it is, however it is that you want to live it. Um, it's just more so for me, like you said, just letting our kids be kids. Yeah. Um, you know, whatever decisions they make as they get older, you know, that's up to them. But at the age of, you know, three, five, seven, um, you know, anywhere in between, you know, um, definitely just, I just want them to be kids Yeah, and enjoy being a kid. Yeah. And the funny part is though, right. As they get older, obviously we're telling them different things or explaining different things. And so our son who's seven you know, we we tell him a little bit more on certain things, but the problem is with him. We'll tell him that he want to tell his sister, his brother, hey, did you guys know? I'm like, I'm just telling you, like, this yeah. is what you need to, like, let them play, you know, spaceship or whatever they're doing. Why are you? Well, I guess what I know, let them write. But um, <laughs> and and that's just, you know, they're kids. They're going to do that. Those kind yeah. of things. Um, I guess, too, I guess. One of my questions or last question I have for you is just, um, is it harder to find like family movies, like real family movies? Or do you feel like it's easier now? Because if you think about it, a lot of times the movies, I'm sure some of you guys can relate to a lot of the family movies we watch are like 
the movies we kind of grew up with. We're not necessarily watching. We'll watch some here and there, but we're not watching as much of the current family movies. Or is it one of those things where there's just not as really, there's not many family movies like there used to be? Um, I think it's a combination of both. Because, I mean, there's a lot of, like, good family movies that still come out. Um, you know, obviously, Sing was a big one for us. Yeah. You know, the kids really like that. Um, Despicable Me. But again, um, and to each their own. Um, I think a lot, of, they try to incorporate a lot of things into different children's movies now. Um, like, for example, I don't like a lot of movies where, or shows where, you know, people or kids and stuff are, you know, shaking their tush. Yeah. Shaking their butt. Definitely um, not having that. <laughs> because, you know, obviously our kids are kids. So they're yeah. going to, you know, they see that and they see it in a cartoon form and they're going to think, oh, this is a cartoon. It's okay. I can do it too. Yeah. So um, I think a lot of movies now and shows um, are, you know, filtered with different things. Yeah. And so that tends to have us, I think, shy away from a lot of the movies that are out now. Yeah. That's, um, you just remind me, that's the one show, um, what was it called? Red or something with the fox? Or something oh, the mm-hmm. fox. yeah. Um, on Disney. And I saw like a lady or something post something ranting about like all the different issues she had with it and how like the the girl was being a rebel and stuff like that wasn't necessarily my concern like okay hey she because i think she's supposed to be like a preteen i get it trying to rebel stage i didn't have an issue with that for me it was just odd with um i remember her like her love or whatever for the guy and he i think she i can't remember i haven't seen it in a little bit but he was like a mermaid she turned him to a mermaid and he was like a fish. It was weird. Like it was a weird thing. I remember she was like twerking as well. Like that was like that was my issue with that. Where I was like, and we watched it, and my daughter wanted to watch it again. And I'm like, mm, that's not like I didn't tell her, but I was just like, because I could tell she was already doing some of those things. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't need you. Yeah. And but- she, she's a good dancer already. So I'm like. Yeah, but the I mean the the thing the thing about that is like even though we watched it and she saw like she wanted to dance along, you know, our kids are kids, so yeah. they they're like, ew, she's shaking her tush. Yeah. So they they already know because of you know different things that we've told them like, hey, yeah, this isn't it's not okay for you to do right now. Yeah, you know, yeah. so even though they see it. Uh, and I think that's the big thing, too, where obviously, like, it starts with us. Like, hey, you may see this, um, like, for example, in the movie, you know, the girl, you know, twerking, shaking her tush or whatever, and be like, oh, you <laughs> and, you know, we're like, hey, this is in the cartoon, but it's not okay for you to do, yeah. you know. So just I think that's something big, too. It's just making, you know, our kids aware of those things. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah, true. True. Um, yeah, it's just and you know, obviously as a dad, I'm I'm constantly like, What twerking? Ain't no ain't gonna be no hip thrusting, nothing. Yeah. So um obviously for me that's where like I said, it wasn't a bad movie, but like just for me, I'm like, mm, yeah, no. Um, I just wanted to try to let them be kids as long as possible. Well, um, even even some of these YouTube videos, um, like I know Lania likes watching them, you know, play makeup and stuff like that. But even some of those with some of those young kids, you know, they're like seven, eight. And the little girl has a full face of makeup. And I'm like, mm, yeah. no. She already be trying to pretend the thing with makeup sometime. And I'll be like, mm, yeah, you're not wearing it ever. Yeah. <laughs> But even that, like, just watching, like you said, like, filtering those YouTube videos, too, because even just that, like, oh, watching the little girl put on, you know, or pretend to put on makeup. Yeah. And, you know, she's now, Lania's five, about to be six, which I get. She's, like, very girly. 
But even that, like, you know, she's pretending to put on makeup and I'm like, I don't even wear makeup. So you don't need to wear makeup like that, you know? Mm. So just being conscious of that as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it gets difficult, especially with YouTube at times, because you can filter some of it, but they, these kids are smart. They be figuring out ways to get around it. So yeah. it's just definitely good to like often, you know, check your kid's history, check your kid's history or just peek to see what they're watching, you know, what they're paying attention to. Just listen. Cause so easy at times. Oh, okay. They're, they're on their tablet. They're, you know, whatever. They're quiet. Yeah. They're quiet. So they're not bothering me. Cool. I'm just, you know, let that go, but make sure, you know, you're paying attention as well because it might be something that's not aligned with, with what you want for your family. Mm -hmm. So just be conscious of that. Um, because I have seen that before where kids do get confused because of the things they saw on YouTube and then they don't have that type of relationship to maybe ask their, their parents. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, or just the parents never even bothered to really ask questions. Mm -hmm. And so then the child is learning whatever it is, you know, they're learning a whole different thing where you're like, wait, what, where did you, get that from you know so just being conscious of those things i think will definitely be beneficial for yeah. sure um but yeah um i i just wanted us to really just you know talk talk about because that's something that i feel even though it, it seems so small it's just things that um we had to be conscious of as far as what our kids are paying attention to and again right like like i said like at times we feel like oh man this our generation wasn't as bad or something like that with the music and with the things we watch. But like I said, Ren and Stimpy, even with the music, right. They just would say things like better, like rain on me. You're like, Oh, rain on me. And then you realize what they mean. Like, Oh yeah. All right. Like the difference is they're just more, this, this music now is just more graphic. Like they're going to let you know, like, Hey, I'm trying to do this and do that. Yeah, that's for a whole nother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey by Mariah Carey. <laughs> yeah, all that, all that stuff. Like, you know, like I said, we thought like, oh, it's not that they they were saying the same stuff, you know. So they were, uh, they were more discreet. Yeah, about it. But I mean, it sense. still was. We still didn't really know, and as kids, we're just vibing to it. No, so, I know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I say same with the shows, like. You know, our kids don't know at times. They're just watching. They're just taking it in because everything is data for them, you know. So, oh, okay, cool. Like if, you know, if I, for example, right, my son sees um, me and my wife, right, we're hugged up or whatever. That's data for him. Okay, that's how I should be. You know, oh, my dad gets her flowers. Okay, that's how I should be. So everything's data. We're data, obviously, for our kids. Like we're the example but so is what they watch and what they pay attention to. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah, I, I guess that's that's pretty much, you know, what, what we want to share with you guys. Um, again, appreciate you guys. Make sure you subscribe, like always. But before we go, I want to remind you, parents, to keep being an inspiration and never downplay the impact that you have for your loved ones because every day you're conquering the chaos. See you guys. Yeah.